guys, hi, it's Afro Puffy back at it again with another video. I am right now in the middle of a job search, as you guys already know. I am a department lead at Super Beauty and it's um lots of fun. <laughs> it was technically a promotion and I enjoyed it. I still do when I'm left alone for the most part, but um, we're, we're, we're reaching two years and uh, I am I'm ready to go. <laughs> I currently completed a UX design program from Google. It was on the website Coursera. A friend told me about it and he had told me that the industry was in high demand and that there were more jobs than people. And I thought that was interesting. I was like, wow, I, it looks like I should take a hold on that. And he told me about the program that it took about half a year to complete. It took me seven months because it's a very, very tedious program with tons of details incorporated. It's like actually being in college. It's just a lot of information condensed. And I, there were times where I didn't think I would finish it at all. But I did, and I was really proud of myself. I think I finished it about a month and some change ago. And I'm very proud of myself. I now have a certificate from them. So a six-month certificate program, a high-demand industry, it seems like that would equal getting a job pretty fast or at least getting some responses. <laughs> no. No, 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 absolutely no. not. I was told that he had told somebody else about it and she had the same background as me, worked in retail, didn't have a bachelor degree, and she got a job within a month. So I'm comparing myself to her and I'm wondering what the heck is wrong with me because it doesn't seem like they're in high desperate demand looking for people, scrambling for people because I have not even gotten a response at all. It's just straight up crickets out here. Crickets! And I've... I've gotten rejected in so many ways, it's crazy. Like, I've, I've been completely frustrated. And they come up with the nicest ways to say, hey, we, we don't want you. They'll say stuff like, oh yeah, we're so honored that you applied with us, but we'll be moving forward with somebody else. Oh yeah, um, you... You seemed like a good fit, but we're going to go with somebody else. Oh yeah, we encourage you to keep applying to our other jobs, but unfortunately you weren't picked. And stuff like that will just be like, oh, oh my gosh. They'll even make it sound good the whole way, and you'll have to process it and be like, oh, I don't, I don't think I got the job. But it makes me wonder what my job search would have been like if I had a bachelor's degree. And I'm sure many other people feel like this too. What would it be like if we actually had a bachelor degree? I have my associate's degree, and with that, that was a whole adventure within itself. But I have been told to continue to get my bachelor's degree. However, I don't like the thought of owing money, of being in debt. It seems like you're screwed either way. Like, I'm debt free with my associate's degree, but all I can do is worry about continuing on with my bachelor's degree in an actual non community college in a university that's more expensive and having to worry about how much it's going to cost me. I've had people that have told me that I don't have to have my bachelor's degree, that all I need is my associate's degree. There are people out there that have jobs that are, that have 
no degree, an associate's degree, and they have high paying jobs. I know someone that's getting their doctor's degree and he told me himself that I don't need my bachelor's degree. There have been people that have said that their degree is useless, it's a waste of time. It seems that they're more eligible, but there's still some struggle on their side. So what exactly is the right path for me to go on? What is the right path for you to go on? Because I don't, I don't feel okay right now. I'm getting rejected in all these different ways and I won't even get as much as an interview. I got a lot more responses applying to slightly above minimum wage jobs than, than what I'm doing now. When it comes to anything regarding retail or customer service industries, it'll just be like, oh, they probably won't accept me. But I have a lot more luck with that. But I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to be in retail and customer service forever. I hate doing cashier work. I absolutely hate it. I have my own department, um, the cosmetic department at Super Beauty, and it's great, but I still have to do cashier work. How they schedule people can be all over the place. So there are times where I have to be cashier, and it drives me crazy. I feel useless. I'm gonna just say it. I feel useless without having a bachelor's degree. I feel like a job search would be easier. But I feel like anything that is high paying enough or more than decent paying enough for me to get paid enough for me to support myself because what I'm getting paid now even though I got promoted it's not nearly enough for me to just leave my home and go out on my own it's not enough for me to support myself it's not nearly enough I am 25 years old and I personally do not want to go back to school at this age and graduate at 27 just so I can be eligible align with these job requirements I'm sorry I I just can't I would rather start at the entry level like I would have expected I'm not finding a lot of entry level jobs in the UX design industry so far and I don't know what to do and this is how people get stuck this is definitely how people get stuck and, I, and there have been times where I've been applying late at night and I just, I want to cry. I seriously want to cry and I don't know where my life is going to go. This is not my dream to be in UX design. I see it as a business, as something that's necessary to know that is going to add on to my business portfolio. I see it as something that's going to look good on my resume. I see it as something that I can understand for the most part and it's going to help me in the future. But this is only a stepping stone. And if I can't even land an interview or positive feedback from these people, then how, where, what am I doing? Where am I going with this? How am I going to take that next step? I don't want to have my feet stuck on the ground just straight up not getting anywhere and I know I'm not the only one there are many people that feel like this that's not even me generalizing the job market is already hard enough if it wasn't hard enough already it's it's even harder now in the era that we're in People were facing getting laid off, unemployment, on the verge of homelessness, straight up struggling. And it's, it only got worse when we got introduced to Corona, which is honestly getting old. It should not be a dream just to just to get a response from these people and this is regarding applying to multiple companies a day 
feeling like I have to overcompensate with my cover letter just to prove that, hey, maybe I, you should actually consider me. You should actually consider me, hey, I'm actually worthy to work in this position. I have to work extra hard to convince you that, hey, I don't meet all of your job requirements. But I can still qualify. And I don't, maybe they're not convinced. And all I can do is keep applying and just hope that somebody responds. Just hope that I actually get somewhere. I don't know what that other girl did that I, I'm not doing. How did she get a job in a month? I have no idea. But all I can do is keep trying. And it's painful. All of, all of you job seekers out there, I'm with you. I'm right with you. The UX design industry, the, the hourly, the, I'm sorry, the annual wages vary, but from what I've seen, they get paid very well, even for entry level, much better than what I'm getting paid now. And that's what I'm aiming for. It's not wrong for me to aim for that, even though I have just have my associate's degree. But when most of them are saying their requirements are a bachelor's degree, and even when I do have a bachelor's degree, it's like, hey, you have to have at least two years experience and projects that made it into the public and they mention having knowledge of stuff that I didn't learn in the program, more technical stuff that I didn't learn in the program, it's frustrating, it's infuriating. And it'll be the same, it'll be the same title that I was studying for, a UX designer. You want a UX designer to know all of these things that I didn't learn in the program? And then it's like, why didn't they teach me that in the program? What is going on? Do you guys know something that I don't? Because clearly, clearly you do. I have a portfolio, a resume, and skills to offer. But it clearly, it clearly isn't technical enough. It's not all the way what they're looking for. I can be great in customer service and with the skills that they provided for me to learn in the program, but it doesn't matter because there are other technical skills that they want that I was not taught. So I'm clearly not good enough. It doesn't matter. It's just useless. Without that good old bachelor's degree, I am just straight up useless. You want me to spend two more years and graduate at 27 just for me to be eligible for your job? By then, someone else would have already filled the position. So what are we doing here? It sucks to be on the other side of the job search, of the job market. Playing the waiting game, will they or won't they? Will they respond? Will they not respond? Will I get a call? I have gotten zero calls. Absolutely nothing. I must be doing something wrong, clearly. I even joined LinkedIn to get advice to connect with professionals it's still I don't think it's good enough I will never say to anyone to stop applying I will never say to anyone that it is completely useless to apply to jobs that you might not be qualified for you might have absolutely Every single qualification except one, maybe two. And I'm with you, I'm with you. You might even have the job title right there and you were trained for that. And then it's listed, it's listed for them to want you to do stuff that you don't recognize at all. They might want you to have more technical skills than you were ready for. We can be struggling out here with an associates or no associates, struggle to be qualified for jobs, or we can have a bachelor's and be in complete debt. 
Why are there people saying that their bachelor's degrees feel useless? Are they also struggling in job searches? If you have a bachelor's degree, let me know. Tell me what it's like applying to jobs. Let me know what it's like to have a good old bachelor's degree after four years and do you feel any better than those that only have two years or nothing? Is it brighter on the other side? Does it have you get closer to your dreams? Even having a two-year They'll, they'll even filter out how you get your two years degree because I got my two years at a community college. Some some of the the jobs won't list that. They'll be like, where did you get your associate's degree? And I'll be typing in Prince George's Community College and get nothing. I'll type in P-R-I-N and the, the only thing that'll come up is Princeton. I'm serious. So I'm even excluded in some companies just from what school I got my associate's degree from. Thanks. I'm sorry that I didn't go to a straight up prestigious school. I'm sorry that I couldn't afford it. I'm sorry that I'm not good enough. When I was doing my associate's degree, all I could think of was the money that I owed. It wasn't even that bad, but it was enough to bother me. And I don't want to live like that. There are some older adults that are still paying off their bachelor's degrees from school. And I don't want to be like that. Is it so wrong for me to be like that? Should I just have to suck it up and be in debt anyways just so I can qualify for a job that'll, that will be able to support me? I can apply to any minimum wage-esque retail customer service job, but that's not going to get me anywhere. It's not. So you tell me. Who has it better?